pregame.com. All right, conference play starts up. On the West Coast, we have Stanford visiting Southern Cal. This is my free play. I like Stanford against Southern Cal. I know you're going on the road. You're laying one point. But I think if you look a little more closely at these teams, really, Stanford outclasses them by quite a bit. Of course, you have to have a lot of respect for the home court, in a, in a, especially in a season opener, conference opener. But still, I think if you look a little more closely at Stanford, they have a very good, well-balanced team, always play smart basketball at, at Stanford. I think if you look at Southern Cal, very poor backcourt. I, I hate to say very poorly coached team. Uh, I think that Stanford goes in there. I think they have what it takes to, to again, I, I think Stanford always strong underneath, but I think in the, even in the backcourt this year, they, they are clearly superior over Southern Cal. I think they take it to them. Chuck Edel, let's hear from you. USC this year has really struggled to put the ball in the net. You know, I mean, they, 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 they're struggling to score even against some, some you know, mediocre. Some mediocre defenses. Now Stanford plays some good defense. I mean, this is, you know, they could play, you know, very, I think they're, I think they're well coaches, you know, and, and they play a defense that they, we've seen USC go in and, I mean, they scored the other day. It was an overtime game against Dayton. I think they put up 62 points. They got the win, but Dayton was traveling co- uh, cross country. You mentioned the home court advantage. I don't give, you know, USC is one of those gyms. It's not really yeah. like a college yeah, atmosphere. It's yeah. not like going into some of these these places. Like we're used to back east. Yeah, going exactly. to Palester yeah. back in those days. It was impossible. Yeah. Stanford's had some really good games on the road already yeah. this year, too. I mean, battle tested. Yeah, they sure. beat Northwestern. We saw them uh, play Minnesota really tough. I think this is a right. good Minnesota team. They only lost by three. Very good Minnesota. That Minnesota. Team. USC, they just have trouble. They play defense, but they have trouble putting the ball in the basket. And they, they, I think they'll struggle against Stanford. They are. I agree, too. And you're catching them at a, at a good time. I mean, you got a USC team that's lost seven of their last nine games. Yeah. They just played a, a couple of days ago. Stanford has an extra day of rest when compared to them. But more importantly, Stanford comes off a game against Lafayette, which is a game off, right. more or less. Yeah, and prior that. to that, they didn't play since the 21st of December. You fit in some practices there. I, I got to give Stanford an advantage here. I don't think they're going to have much problems playing in that gym, even though it's on the road. So I, I like the Stanford side as well. I'm surprised the number's not a little higher yeah. based on the fact Stanford's coming in high, winning four of their last five games. It's the only thing that threw me off a little. But it is a conference game. Right. USC is at home. And because of that, maybe that's why you're not being asked to lay a little more on a hotter team like Stanford. I think that's exactly what you're looking at. Otherwise, I think this number should be closer to about a three. And exactly, half, exactly. Like but I think they're giving Southern Cal a, a home court advantage, Chuck, that you talked about, maybe not quite as strong as it should be. Um, I'm looking at Stanford's losses. They lost to Missouri. Mizzou, yeah. Belmont. NC State, mm-hmm. Minnesota. I mean, those were all oh, quality top schedule. programs. Top, top tournament schedule. Teams. Yeah, tur- you're you're right. Exactly. Teams. Yeah, I mean, nobody wants to play Belmont. Yeah. No. Nobody wants uh, to play no, Belmont. No, yeah, no. they're a good team. Yeah. They've, quite, they, they've had a little bit of difficulty, but still, it's an, it's an impressive uh, fact that they that Stanford played them. Yeah, the Minnesota team just crushed Michigan State yep. last yeah. night. NC State, one of the better teams in the ACC. Yeah. That's, that's pretty strong right there. Yeah. yeah, both ranked, Mizzou and NC State. All right, we've talked about it. Let's go ahead and make it official. I'm going to take the Stanford Cardinal visiting Southern Cal conference opener for both these teams. I think Stanford really has a much better team, front court and back court. I like the coaching in Stanford. Do not like the coaching out of Southern Cal. Don't like the way Southern Cal has been playing lately. I think this number, I think there's value in laying one. I think this number should be probably closer to three would be much more indicative of how good these two teams are. And I think as we see the season progress, you'll see that number uh, probably going to stand up a little more over the course of time. So the, the question I have real quick is you put any factor into it that Stanford just won the Rose Bowl? Were these kids partying it up? Well, if they were partying, it was were in Southern campus? California. <laughs> <laughs> they were, they were, Southern right. California. were they partying it up? I, I was at the Rose Bowl, by the way. Any of the basketball right. players there partying? I, you know what? I saw some awful tall dudes. Uh oh. So I don't know. <laughs> I, was, I was talking about tall dudes. You know, USC plays a three guard off, you know, offense, and they have trouble scoring too. I think Stanford big rebounding edge on top of everything else. Exactly right. Yeah. Great. Yeah, I think uh, so. Anyway, let's talk some football. All right, well, what's coming up next? We have uh, an NBA game coming up next. VR, but this. This is your best bet. So we're going to go to San Antonio and the New York Knicks. That's a heck of a game. Great game. So we're going to go. We're going to hit, listen to you on the NBA. And just a reminder, you can see all our videos at pregame.tv.